Hey, Shalom. It's your brother Matanzal. About to do a quick lesson in transit on my way to work this morning. Uh, basically, I was just uh, uh, thinking about something, uh, thinking about uh, the better wages, you know, the wages of life. You know, when you howl about Shimmy Yahushai, before I open up, I want to give all praises and glory and honor to you. How about Shimmy Yahushai? My Shimmy Kafka Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Blue Will. Peace and salutations to the Akiyam out here. Slaving in his truth. The truth and sincerity, all right? Uh, yeah, basically, man, you know, and I was just thinking about, like, you know, uh, the, the Most High has, uh, you know, gave us this truth, man. You know, all, all the, for all you brothers out here, man, this in this truth, you know, the, uh, which is really the uh, the true riches, you know what I'm saying, of the world, which is the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. And I was thinking about how, like, the world, you know, they, uh, they, they settle, you know what I'm saying, for the things of this world, man, which are, um, are temporal, you know, the things of this world is going to be, uh, you know, melted away, you know what I'm saying, with fervent heat, you know. Everything in this place is uh, is going to be uh, destroyed, man. You know, so what is it worth? You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, man. Man, Salaki, I wish I could really just read kind of driving here. So hold on. I'm going to pull up the scripture uh, real quick anyways. Uh, let's see here. Bear with me, brothers. I'm driving. This is a. Uh, oops, it's a lot of God, here it is. This is uh, Luke 9 and 25. It says, For what is, for what is a, a man's advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away. So basically, what is it, you know what I'm saying, to be, uh, you know, to gain everything in this world, man, the riches of it, man, you know, and, and, and make that your God, you know? What is the advantage? There's no advantage to it, man. The only advantage... It's not even an advantage because the scriptures say that the wages of sin is death. That's what you're going to get, man. You're going to get uh, um, death. As a matter of fact, Salaki, let me grab that real quick. This is uh, Romans 10 and... Um, This is Romans 6 and 23. It says, For the, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach our Lord. See, and that's what I was thinking about, man. You know, hey, man, the things of this world ain't worth, you know what I'm saying, trying to keep a hold of or trying to gain, you know, because the things of this world is going to get you destroyed, man, you know. But the gift of the Lord is eternal, everlasting life, man. That's the beautiful thing, man. I was just sitting there meditating on how, like, Jake go out there with end. You know what I'm saying? For the uh, the riches of this world, man. You know, and, and they don't know, you know, this beautiful truth, which is the true, you know, gold and silver. The true, uh, 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 the true treasure. You know, the, I was thinking about, like, how brothers get rejected by women. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, the woman, she stumbled up on the, uh, 
on a beautiful treasure, you know what I'm saying? And she just took it and threw it away for uh, for, for for some dung, you know, for the things of this world, man. You know, I was just meditating on that this morning, just thinking about that on my way to work. I just wanted to share that with you, brothers, man. You know, because these things here are all temporal. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick, too. It's a lot here. Say it's kind of hard driving this big old truck on on Slocky. This is uh, Second Corinthians uh, four and eighteen. It says, "While we look not at the things which are seen." But the things which are not seen, for those things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. See, we, we set our affections on the things above, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is the kingdom of heaven. You know, because we have that full understanding that, you know, this place is temporal and it's going to be destroyed, man. You know? So, so, so why, you know what I'm saying, put all of your heart and, and, and mind and body and soul into a place, you know what I'm saying, or into people, you know what I'm saying, trying to win them over as far as like, the, you know, what having the riches and the, the things of this world, you know what I'm saying, for what, man? You know, that's, it's, it's bas basically, you know, you living in vain, you living to be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? Having that mindset when you got, you know what I'm saying, the Heavenly Father who's offering so much more. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said for them that believe on him, he's going to, he, the, the, actually, the, Yahweh Shah said when he came, he he, uh, he came to offer them, uh, well, life uh, uh, with much more abundance, you know? So you're going to get everlasting life, man. You know what I'm saying? With, with abundance, man. So the Lord is going to give you Everything with your heart ever desires and, and, and it's not temporal. It's gonna be something that's gonna be forever and ever and ever and ever, man. That's the beautiful thing about it, man. You know? And here it is. We got you got the men of the Lord out here telling these people this every week, week in, week out, uh, the Israelites, man. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, and they and they take it for granted, you know, and they don't realize that the time is coming up. You know what I'm saying? When the Lord is about to come, you know, uh, uh, collect the elect, and, 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 and he's going to start, he, he's coming to pay everybody their wages. The Lord is coming with the payment. You know, that's what's coming. The payment is coming. The great payment. Whether you're going to get the wages of, uh, uh, of, of an eternal everlasting life, or you're going to get the, uh, the wages of death, destruction. You know, the Lord, he's, he's offering you, you know what I'm saying, a lifetime uh, uh, benefit. But but Jake, you know what I'm saying, is uh, pushing that way the hand of the Heavenly Father, man. But from this lifetime benefit. It's like, oh, shoot. Let me grab this uh, scripture real quick. Then I'm just ending with that. Uh, uh, This is uh second Peter three and ten. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. See, the day of the Lord is gonna come like a thief in the night when they least suspect it, man. You know, because they're not taking heed. Jacob is not taking heed to the warning that's being preached out here in these streets week in and week out. You know, they just like like I said, they they they, they uh, rejected the hand of the heavenly Father. You know, so that's why the scriptures say in the book of uh, 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 Proverbs one and twenty one, they say, "How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? How long are you gonna stay in your simplicity, man? You know." 
because the true riches you reject but the riches of this world you know what i'm saying got you got you spellbound that's why you simple because this place the riches of this world ain't nothing it's it, it's gonna melt away As a matter of fact peter gonna say it we're gonna go into it so the he said in that which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and that great noise is talking about nu nuclear thermal missiles, man. It's going to be a World War III. And America is going to get hit really bad, man, with a whole bunch of missiles. You know, everything that you're living for, the status, the uh, 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 trying to get the riches of this world, man. Trying to please these people in this world, man. You're going to get hit with those missiles that's coming, man. That's that great noise. Slacking. With a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. See? So, so this place is going to, everything in this place, all of your materials, all your money, all your riches, your house, your cars, you know, everything, everything in this place. All the elements of this wicked place is gonna burn up. It's gonna melt, man. You know, this this is these are these things are not the things that's uh, uh, worth holding on to or fighting for, man. You know, the things that are worth fighting for is your soul. You gotta fight for your soul, man. If that didn't give all praises and glory and honor to yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Rule Will. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out here laboring in this truth, the truth of sincerity, Shalom.